again with the space whoosh noises. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Inter Astra, is how I'm pronouncing it anyway. So I am going through a bunch of the games that were listed on Steam as part of like a game festival week that I didn't get a chance to get to because I've been working on set so many hours a week. It's been crazy. It's been awesome. Anyway, this is a first person science fiction survival adventure game that's how they describe it i'm like reading the thing off steam i will leave a link in the description below if you want to check out this demo yourself key things that i was into for this it's survival it's open world you can craft you actually harvest resources it looks cool and it's got a free demo for us to check out so i um, actually gonna jump into it i don't really know anything about what it looks like how it plays so we're gonna find out. Uh, humanity's days are numbered. I guess we're entering the apocalypse. So I'm kind of curious if this is just a still shot because it's a demo, or if it will eventually be a video, or what? I hope there's some animations happening like in the final part. Uh-oh. Okay, so classic. We went into hypersleep, traveling, Something bad happened. We woke up to alarm bells thing. Greetings, Pioneer. You seem to have woken up from an unexpectedly long cryo sleep. Your motor functions, as well as your memories, have been damaged. What? As for protocol, I will assist you in regaining basic functionality so you may proceed with the mission. Oh, this looks like subnautica <laughs> like it looks like the little pod in subnautica except we didn't land in the water is it safe to go outside and breathe and all that there's nothing for me to interact with here except this all right Ooh, i guess we're gonna find out can we breathe out here we can jump i can crouch you can see i have compiled a list of steps for you to reach optimal performance levels and i will display them as short-term goals you just need to follow my guidance and your survival will be guaranteed. For now, guaranteed. you must secure a source of food and drinkable water. Okay. Oh, I like this. Can we run? We can run. Alright, I think this is food. Questionable food. I thought that said God droplet. I think it's goo droplet. Alright, I, I think I just got the food and the water. I wish that was E instead of F. I'm not sure if I can change the key bindings or not. This is interesting, though. I'm in a land of free food and... You have collected a piece goo. of flora which passes the Federation requirements to be deemed edible. Please ingest them until you reach optimal nourishment and hydration levels. However, keep some stored in the case of future malnourishment. Are we sure it's safe? I feel like these things are gonna grab me. Like they're just gonna be like, ah, and grab me. That's that's how those make me feel. All right, let's figure out how we eat. Inventory is tab. Alien fruit. Hold well, left mouse button to use. Right mouse button for info. What does info say? Rich in nutrients. Oh, I have to actually add it to my hotbar. I don't want it to be. We'll put it like down here. Is this water? A goo droplet. A scanning tool. Alright, let's put this on our bar. We're probably a step ahead now. High temperature resistance. I can't read this very well. I don't know if you guys can. This is resistance to high temperature. Um, not sure what that says. Uh, something mints. Zero percent? I can't. It's too small. I don't need glasses, per se, but they are like that on my screen. You have regained necessary nutrition levels to proceed. Faint energy readings that are not from the crashed ship have been detected in the area. Investigate them, as they might give a clue to continuing the mission. What's our mission? I thought our mission was just to, like, find a place to live. But we crashed here in a pod? So our ship is gone? It really is like Subnautica. Starling. I'm gonna I'm gonna collect all of these. You guys don't have to sit here and watch me collect all of these. But FYI, I'm taking everything. So I take it that these are pieces of my crashed ship. Uh, but this is a dead end, so I'm gonna go the other way. Alright, there's a cave. 
This seems safe. Do we need a tool or diamonds? Okay, we'll just pick these up like they're nothing. I do. So I like the HUD. I like I like the aesthetic at first. However, it's a little cloudy. Um, I have the settings on high and it's not just like a smokiness to here. It still is kind of like a weird little cloudiness on the edges. If you can see when I like look at the glass. Um, and I do like the HUD. I like how it looks all sci-fi, but at the same time, I also feel like it's kind of in my way. I oh, what do the we way have out of this area is blocked by rock debris. I estimate the rocks to be too heavy to move using your weakened body. It is recommended you obtain a device to break it. I have a weakened body. And I just found some lead ore. And some fibers. Ooh, what is this? That's cool. That's like a command looking center thing. Let's see if we can find a, find like a workbench. Craft a thing because my body is too weak to break things. A stone axe perhaps. It's very interesting how everything is just F to pick up. I would think I would need a tool to actually collect ore. Um, but it's just kind of hanging out, so I don't know. Ooh, a new cave. A new cave with new things. Iron ore. I'm gonna go see what that red thing is. I'll probably need a tool for it. Nope. Titanium ore. There's no grind here. This is weird. I haven't run into anything bad yet. I'm a little getting paranoid with that as I get away from the objective. It is Okay, so a couple things. I completely ransacked this cave of everything that was in it. And then I came out here and some of these had respawned. So then I went back to uh, this cave over here that we had been in. And the diamonds had respawned. So, I'm not sure if when I leave a chunk, the stuff automatically is respawning, or if it's on a timer, and the timer is very, very, very short. Um, because, yeah, you can just, I've just been picking things up, and I realized slowly that, uh, these things respawn super fast. Alright, let's see what this area is over here, because it does look very cool. And it does look like there's a way to, like, go up here, even though... Go up there. All right, let's see what this is. We can use the terminal. To you have gathered necessary oh. materials. There was a functioning crafting station next to the terminal that you can use to create the drill and a battery. Okay, we're downloading blueprints. That's an interesting concept. You have to download them. Log out. Huh. Create a hand drill. Quick access. All. Hand drill. Hand drill. What do we need for that? Plating. Add to the to-do list. I'm gonna actually do that. Let's just see what that looks like. This. Mechanical parts. Add to the to-do list. Alright. Oh, if you just click on it. I added it to the to-do list just to see. If you actually just click on it, it'll do it. Okay, that's cool. How many we made a hand drill. A water but let's let's make some other things. Let's make a water bottle. There we go, one water bottle. Ooh, wow, we can make food rations out of fibers and this alien fruit. That's cool. First aid kits, also out of plant materials make some of those oh wow there's like potential for a lot of different things here that's cool i like that look at all the things we just made drilling device acquired all right let's go pin drill there's no battery r insert new battery ah we did it let's go to one let's give that a battery too Gotta make sure our drill doesn't overheat. Ooh, new place. 
Ooh, Lock what's disruptions that? have been removed. Detecting a larger energy reading from the north. Following the pattern, it is recommended you investigate it. Look at all this food and water we have here. I want to collect all of it, but you guys are probably like, move on. Let's go see what these green things are. What are you? Oh, I can't collect it. Can I scan you? Oh. I scanned everything. Right mouse button. Choose a target. All? No, I want this. No? This. Oh, that's a huge droplet. Okay. Four god droplets. That was four and one. Signal source is near. Use the vegetation and terrain to navigate to it. Look at this area over here. This is interesting. We've picked up plenty of this ore already. I just wanted to show you guys the weird ball thing with the holes in it. Oh, okay. When you drink the water, it consumes the whole water bottle. I kind of don't like that. I think I'd rather, like, refill it and get, like, a bonus, maybe? Oh, hey, now this can go down here. Before it told me no. Maybe I did it wrong. Let's eat that. Alright. Oh. It said use the terrain to climb up here, so I was assuming that this is what I'm supposed to do. Okay, you kind of have to double jump weird. doing it. We're gonna make it. We made it, I think. Ooh, we did make it. Oh, look at this. Ooh, Scans stuff. indicate this facility was used as a facility to create and launch manned interplanetary rockets. By plugging into the console, it should be possible to chart a new course and use remaining parts as a base for a new vehicle. Oh, this is cool. I like this. Look at this. Are we gonna build a rocket? That seems crazy advanced, because we just started. It seems that last destination still remains in the logs. It is also the only planet that will be reachable with the available supplies. Oh, this is cool. Go to planet, orbit, mushroom planet, ice planet, go to planet, orbit. Wow, oh, this is cool. You can get plant material and copper ore here. It's like a frozen tundra planet. Mushroom planet, that's where I am now. Ice planet, I don't know what the rest of these are. Ooh. Oh wow, is there like a lot to explore? I have created an interface to interact with existing software. Use the available parts to create a valid rocket. I will run simulations and update in real time to give you information if your design will be able to reach the destination. What? You have to- oh wow. You have to craft a rocket. Right? And the thing will tell you if you can actually take off or not. Is this not the right piece? Oh, that's that piece. Not attached. Alright, hang on. Alright, I need to put the wings on it. Right? We need wings? Or are the wings already there? Launch? Oh, we did it! Oh, we did it, but we can't go to- Oh, I want to go to the other planet! Dang! Can I continue? No? Okay. I guess that was it. That was cool. Okay, I like this. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about Inter Astra. That's the way I'm saying it. I don't know. Link will be in the description below if you want to check out the demo yourself. I don't know if there's more things that you can do, but I will cut it off here because I was exploring for quite a bit. I tend to take longer checking out these demos than normal people because I want to be able to like show you guys everything. This is cool. It has a lot of potential. I had no idea that you can actually like 
craft rockets, design them yourself, and try to, like, get more range so you can travel, like, further distance to different planets for different materials. I think it's cool that they kind of showed me an example of, like, the frozen tundra planet, yet they didn't show me all the details of, like, all the other planets in the solar system. I think they have a huge potential to be able to even expand beyond that and go to, like, different solar systems and stuff. Yes, it, you're gonna say, oh, well, that sounds like No Man's Sky, but this is, I don't know, I like the environment and the theming of this, so, like, it's a crafting survival game kind of first. I don't know, I haven't played No Man's Sky in a while, but I guess that's what I have to compare it to. But for a demo, this was cool. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.